If you're looking for the best way to control your lights with Ableton Live, I believe it's using LightKey. And LightKey is this really cool, innovative way to allow you to control lights using something called Live Triggers. It really feels like you, you almost have a plugin loaded into Ableton Live, but you're using this dedicated software that really is an expert at controlling lights, as opposed to trying to do it in Ableton Live. Now, I just wrapped up my controlling light key with Ableton Live course, and I thought as a gift to you, I would share a free lesson from that course. If you like this lesson, you wanna learn more about controlling light key with Ableton Live, all you've gotta do is click the link in this description of this video to check it out. And if you're not ready for that and you like the content, then just consider subscribing and enabling the bell icon so you see when I post the next tutorial. Let's talk about the simplest, easiest way to get started with controlling light key with Ableton Live, and that's installing light key on the same computer as Ableton Live is on. So we've got both programs on the same computer and we're gonna use something called Live Triggers. Now I introduced you to this in the intro, but this is a really innovative way that makes using LightKey as simple as if it were a plugin in Ableton Live, but again, gives us the flexibility of letting it be a completely separate program so it can focus on what it does best and Ableton can focus on what it does best. So um, let's really quickly dive in, uh, into the settings to make this happen. I'll give you a quick demo of it. And then in our next lesson, and we'll dive in and talk about some specifics of programming and working with it. So again, I've got LightKey installed on the same machine as Ableton Live. Uh, I would suggest closing Ableton Live during this installation uh, so that you don't have any issues with the Live Triggers portion of this. Um, I've already got the demo file of this open up. So if I close LightKey, for example, let's just quit this real quick. And then I go in here and I do LightKey. Uh, this way you can follow along perfectly with me. You can double click here on the LightKey demo. Uh, LightKey, it tends to be kind of a hog and it says, I'm gonna go full screen. Well, we don't need full screen right now. So you go back to where you are. You know your, your place in life, LightKey, you're no Ableton. So now let's go into preferences, command comma. Uh, we wanna go up here to this external control section. We're gonna click that. First thing I wanna point out is MIDI ports here. I would suggest disabling all of these. Uh, we'll talk about this later when we go to a separate machine, we'll enable it. For now, just disable all of these. We don't need it. Disable open uh, uh, sound protocol OSC commands. Uh, we'll disable that. We do want to make sure we've enabled live triggers so that we can trigger cues directly from Ableton Live. Okay, so with that set up uh, over in LightKey, let's go ahead and open Ableton Live up. And so I'm going to open that up on my computer. Again, what I love about this particular setup with, uh, with triggers live triggers is that it's gonna feel as if this is a plugin in Ableton Live. It's very easy to work with. We can do everything within Ableton, um, but it's a separate, completely separate program. Okay, so with Ableton Live open, um, let's go to our preferences first, right? That's where we started over in uh, LightKey. Let's go to preferences here. So we're gonna go to preferences, command comma, and we're gonna click on link tempo MIDI here. Okay, and then what we wanna do is jump down to uh, our out section, and we're really just looking for out light key input. We wanna make sure that track is enabled, okay? Light, uh, out, excuse me, out light key input, make sure track is enabled. We also have a uh, light key output here. Uh, we actually do not need that for the time being, so we can just leave everything uh, uh, set up there as is. Okay, so with that set up, uh, let's talk about how to access our live triggers. Again, this could not be any simpler. So let's go up to the upper left-hand corner of live screen. So this is our show hide button for the browser. We're gonna click this arrow, We're gonna go down to the user library. This can be found under places. And you'll see a folder here that says light key live triggers. Now, if you happen to not see that, close Ableton Live, reopen it. If you still don't see it, close Ableton, close light key, reopen light key, then reopen Ableton. If you still don't see it after that, then um, reopen, uh, shut down your computer, restart it. If you don't see it after that, maybe say a few prayers, throw your computer against the wall, try it. Uh, reach out to light key support to say, what the heck was this not working? But you'll see it. If for some reason you don't, again, uh, reopen Ableton, shut it down, reopen it, and you should see it. So let's just do a quick demo, walk through uh, what we have here. So if I click this light key live triggers uh, arrow to um, expand this folder, you'll see a live set that's gonna show up based on 
whatever files you have open in Lightkey, projects you have in Lightkey. Right now, I'm just using the demo projects. That's all we get. We're going to click this arrow to the left of the ALS file. We'll see a, diff a couple different tracks here. We have actions, manual control, queue list, Will's special page, Will's very special page. I'll show you how I created those in just a moment. Um, but we have different actions here. Let's just do uh, something real simple, right, to start with. So let's go to queue list. Again, I'm going to click this arrow to the left of queue list. You can see these individual queues that are listed here um, uh, in this section. I'm just going to drag this uh, intro one here. Let's do build up, drag that one in. And let's do one more just for the sake of time. Deep flash. Okay, so we've got those loaded in. Uh, one setting we need to make uh, to our track here. So let's go to the bottom of our track in this MIDI two section. Let's see if I can zoom in on that for you. Oh, that's a little better. Um, so we want to first off say MIDI two. It's set to no output. Let's set this to light key input, and then we're going to go to channel sixteen. Uh, it's really important to stress uh, that's super important. It's got to be set to light key input. It has to be on MIDI channel sixteen. Um, otherwise, it's not going to get to light key. Another thing I would suggest doing uh, is going to this section here, the MIDI from section, uh, and you want to make sure that that is set to no input. That's just going to make sure no MIDI uh, accidentally gets sent to this track. Now, we'll trigger these in just a second. I'm going to actually go and close our, our browser so we don't have to keep seeing that. We'll trigger these clips in just a second, but let's see if we can actually uh, get this set up so that we can see Ableton on one side, and we'll see light key on the other. Okay, so let me drag Ableton over here, get it to like half the screen, there we go. See if we can get light key to about half the screen. Perfect. Again, this will be way easier to see once um, uh, once our computers, uh, or once these programs are on separate machines. Uh, let's go down to this page here, and let's go to cue list just so we can see the cue list. And let's trigger this clip. So by triggering a clip, I'm just gonna click, you'll see like the play button right there. Okay, that's all I'm doing. We'll click that and you can see right here, uh, let's see if I can zoom in on that, build up, that's gonna show you we just triggered that cue right there, okay? Uh, let's go to our intro cue, so I'll go up here and click this. Again, I'm gonna click that button and you'll see here in a second, right, that that triggers uh, this intro cue right here is where that is, right? So um, you could see how incredibly, incredibly simple this is to use. Uh, this updates pretty quickly as well too. You see as we dive into live triggers, if I were to add a page, uh, do some different things. Uh, it's very, very easy to use. So that's a quick look at setting up using live triggers in Ableton Live to trigger uh, light key on the same computer.